for this reed and the candle is not put out. Now let's see what happens when I blow through the flute. Let us make it just as a, a wind pipe. There goes the candle. So the great the great Sufi poet Jalaluddin Rumi wrote the flute is totally empty. It is the breath that flows through, sings and dances. To be empty is not emptiness. Beautiful. Now, the physics of every, everyday events is sometimes self-evident. Sometimes there is something a little more complicated going on. When you throw a ball up, it falls down. Yeah, it's uh, Newton's law of gravity. I mean, you don't even need Einstein's modification. Uh, it's all self-evident. But when you blow through the flute, you don't blow through the flute. So most of you, the air that you blow just goes right across. Just goes right across. It meets the opposite edge. Then a small portion of it divides and goes in and comes out the other way. Kind of a, like a vortex. And so your breath remains in this portion of the flute no matter what you do. So it sets up, the way you blow it sets up what is known as standing waves inside this flute column, which is the alternate compression and rarefaction of the air. Of the air. It creates pressure waves which gives resultant to a, a, an acoustic flow wave and stuff. These are extremely tiny perturbations. And that forms what is known as the standing wave in this air column. And the current research has shown that the standing wave extends a little beyond the flute too. So what you see here when I play is a little flutter. It's because of the acoustic pressure and acoustic flow. You can see the candle flutter a little bit. The breath does not flow through it. So the breath is finished here. So uh, in order to put out, you can never put out a candle by playing... Uh, a flute to it. I mean, alternatively, you can do experiments with human subjects. I mean, you can bite into a piece of onion and play the flute and find out if a subject can smell your the, the onion in your breath over here. It's never going to happen. Well, you, yeah, unless you blow through the flute, you're never going to. A greater, even better example than this transverse flute is the kina which is the Andean flute, the South American. It's just, it's one of the most beautiful instruments in the world and owing to its sound as well as its simplicity. It's just a hollow pipe with a small notch cut at the, at the beginning, which serves to uh, create the, the, the mouthpiece, the fipple, whatever you call it. And uh, the, it's, it is really beautiful. Okay, let's see what it does to the candle. Remember, I mean, I'm just, at least the transverse flute, you can argue, hey, you're just blowing across. So, 
uh, in this case I'm blowing into the flute and yet the your breath does never never reaches the end of the flute your breath pretty much behaves the same way a, a lot of it just goes out this way and some of it goes in and curls back and comes out as soon as, as, as soon as it went in let's see what happens when I play the key now I have to align it very carefully <laughs> close all six holes of this kina and blow through it very gently and there goes the candle thank you